Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look <clears throat> at a group, Z mod 15Z cross, that's the multiplicative group here, and Z mod 18Z multiplicative group. And we're gonna consider an outside multiplication group on this. Now I realize this is multiplication instead of addition. And an outside multiplication, often refers to maybe repeating this operation. So exponentiation works perfectly as kind of an outside action, but we'll still call it an outside multiplication, but it's an outside action on this particular group via an exponent. Raising things to an exponent can therefore encrypt things. And then we can decrypt by looking at an inverse exponent. Okay, so what would work nice? Well, how many elements are there in this group? If you list out the numbers one to 15 and cross out the ones that share um, common factors with 15, you only have six left, or actually not six, excuse me, you'll have, have it reversed, eight left. And on this one, it is six left. Okay, so eight left and six left. So what that means is this group has eight things in it. And this one has six. In particular, since eight is the size of the group, as an exponent, it behaves like a zero exponent, taking you back to the identity, meaning that the exponents actually live z mod eight in z mod eight z. And the exponents over here live in z mod six z. Okay, so that's where the exponents live. So if we have an outside multiplication group, Suppose we have something like z mod n z as an outside multiplication group or a kind of an outside action, and we're doing it by exponentiation. Whatever we have in here is going to hop into the exponent. So it's going to hop into this group and hop into that one. All right. So what makes this tick and make this makes this work is that what is that whatever zero over here has to become zero here and zero here. Meaning in particular that nz has to be contained as a subset of 8z, so the zero here, and 6z, the zero here. In order to make this work, we may as well just let n be the least common multiple of between 8 and 6, which is 24. And notice that it will hold. Multiples of 24 are multiples of 8, and multiples of 24 are multiples of 6, so you have these nice inclusions. That means that z mod 24z serves as a great outside multiplication action for this um, group. Now, how would this work? Let's look at a particular example. Let's take an element in here and an element in here. Maybe we'll take um, two bar and something in here, maybe five double bar. We'll use a double bar here and a single bar there. Um, and let's outside, let's have an outside action by say something like 14, triple bar, well, triple bar are living in here. This should be well-defined how this acts. Now it's gonna act as an exponent, meaning we're gonna have something like this, two bar raised to the 14, triple bar, comma, five double bar raised to the 14, triple bar, where this should be well-defined. But remember, 14 is hopping right into the exponent group, Z mod 8Z actually, um, for this one, and it's happening to the exponent group over here, which is z mod 6z. So actually, this could be written simply as 14 and 5 double bar 14 without, um, without any problem. Just thinking of this 14 as behaving as if it were in z mod 8z, and this one if it were in z mod 6z. Well, that means we can simplify things a little bit because now this is going to be like a negative two. Um, and this over here, 14, and it's um, mod 
six, so that's a positive two, so five double bar squared. So really these two things would be equal using the idea of, of where the exponents live in each respective group. So computing this, well, this one should be, it's, well, it's 25, um, but it's um, uh, 25 mod 18, which would be seven. So that just becomes seven double bar. So it's kind of like, this is how 14 is, de is encrypting over here. And you'd get seven bar double bar. Now over here, what would you get? This is like the inverse of two squared, the inverse. So we take two squared, which is four, so four bar. Um, and we find the inverse of four bar, which shouldn't be too hard because the inverse of four bar is itself in Z mod 15 Z, because four times four is 16, which is one more than a multiple of 15. So um, we end up just simply getting for a single bar. So 14 living in Z mod 24 Z acts on 2, 5 and gives us 4, 7 as you could say an encryption. And you could, and if you could find, now this is interesting, 14 is not a really great encryptor because 14 does not have a multiplicative inverse where it lives. It lives in Z mod 24 Z and it doesn't have a multiplicative inverse because it shares a common factor with 24. Both of the numbers are even. Thanks for watching.